YouTube, 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 what's up? This is your boy, Rizzo Dog Man. And, um, you guys seen the little silent video I did earlier? That was because I was excited to show you guys what it came in without waking up my girl while she was sleeping. <laughs> so it was like a little silent review for you guys, or a silent unboxing, um, which was kind of fun. But what I really want to talk about, I got in um, Pure Van, which was good. Got in Le Mans, which was good. Smells just like Cuba Gold. Just like Cuba Gold from what I can remember. I sprayed Cuba Gold on a couple days ago. And Le Mans smells just like Cuba Gold. I think it may be a little bit better, but it's basically just like Cuba Gold. Um, but what I want to talk to you guys about is this motherfucker right here. Look, this is one step under Blue Day Chanel, Sauvage, and YSLY. This is a bad motherfucker right here. This is a bad boy. Ultra motherfucking red. It's synthetic as shit, it, but so is Sauvage. Synthetic. But man, is this good? And look, look the red shirt. That I didn't plan this shit. I didn't mean to wear a red shirt with this shit. It just I just happened to have a fucking red shirt on. Um, I don't do corny shit like that. I'm gonna wear a red. I'm gonna do a review on a red cologne. So I'm gonna wear a red shirt. No, that's corny as shit. Um, that's like like you and your girl wearing the same fucking outfit. That to me is corny. I look. That's what teenagers do. I remember teenagers used to do that shit. Going out to the fair and to whatever, to the movies, wearing the same outfit. That, to me, is... is that tells me something about your your mentality when you have to do that. See, I didn't try to do this. I didn't try to wear a red shirt and do this or wear something. Red. It just happened to be like that. Anyways, um, some of y'all might like that. Some of y'all might want to wear, wear the same outfit as your girl. I don't know, you know. It to, to like, like I said to me, that's that's kind of corny. But let me let me tell you what this fucking thing smells like, man. Is this is about a four or five hour fragrance, okay, straight up. But it's a good four or five hour fragrance. And I'm talking about good projection, about two hours. Man, this is really really good. I don't know what's in here. Let's see what's in here. Um, what does it even smell like? I can't say. It says ingredients, alcohol, denet, parfum, aqua, water, lemonin, linenol, coumarin, um, hydro, citronella, citro, benzo, benzoate, <coughs> benzo alcohol. <coughs> My bad, y'all got a whiff of it. <coughs> Shit. Okay, it um went down the wrong fucking pipe. The scent, um, it's strong, man. It's strong. It's it's um, it's kind of got a berry. It's kind of like got a berry scent to it. And I don't know if it's strawberry or whatever kind of berry. It's a red berry kind of feel. Maybe even a blue, kind of like a not really blueberry, but hey, <sighs> yeah. Maybe like a blackberry. Let me hit like let me hit this side fresh again. Woo shit. It's different. It's different. Okay. Damn man, it's it does something every time I spray it, it does something different and good. Not it doesn't do anything off putting. It just it always does something different and good. When I first sprayed this, man, I was like, like, it's coming back to that. It's doing something again, man. It's so weird, but it's so good. It's good. It's really good. It is really, really good. All right, so where did I get this from? Who recommended this and what reviewer recommended this that I should buy this? I've seen two reviewers. Um, Ashton was one and uh, some English dude. I don't remember the name. There's so many people that I watch that I try to watch anyway. Ashton was um, the second person that I saw do this. Um, the English dude was the first person that do because you got to remember, 
I watch all the little people first, um, most of the time that I try to watch them. And then usually when, when I see Ashton on the sidebar or the scroll bar, and I'm still subscribed to Ashton, but I usually see him on the scroll bar. If I'm interested in something new that he's, he's, he's showing, I'll click on it. If I see the bottle, if I seen the bottle before, I usually don't click on Ashton stuff because it's typical and I know what it's about. But when I seen this one, after I watched the review of that English dude, then I watched Ashton's review. I was like, um, Paco Raban. I right off the bat, you guys know I'm a Paco Raban fan. Invictus and the One Million Line. I pretty much got the majority of it of the Invictus and the One Million Line, so I'm happy with it. But this, I'm gonna tell you what this one kind of I, I what what I was thinking when I got this. If they created this before the Invictus line, then the Invictus line was based off of this. It's what I'm thinking, okay? It may not be true, but I feel like they made this, and then when they started making the Invictus line, this was this was ground level. This is what they started the Invictus line with. That's what I'm thinking. This thing is a freshie. If I haven't said that yet. <clears throat> okay. It this has it doesn't smell like Invictus. It doesn't feel like it has the Invictus DNA, but it feels like it has the like it's the making, the starting of how the Invictus line started. Because it has this certain type of Type of freshy lasting powder, not powdery. Not this one is more. This one is more a little bit more powdery. The Victor's line is a little bit more bubble gummy, but this is like how they transition from powdery to bubble gummy. This was it. See, you feel what I'm saying? It's kind of weird like that. So when they made the Invictus line, this. Was the prototype. Kind of. Which is kind of weird. Now I don't know how true this is. I don't know how old this is. I don't know when this came out. 2007. Okay yeah. Yeah. Yeah this was when. This is what they. Well maybe 2007 is just the company. I don't know when this came out exactly. What year the hell did this come out in? Puig France. Okay, whatever. Um, another fragrance that kind of reminds me of this is Dunhill Desire Blue, but but this doesn't this doesn't go oceanic. <laughs> this and Dunhill Desire Blue could be cousins. This could be more earthy, or it's not really even earthy. It's not dirty. It's not dank. It's not stank. It's not oody or nothing like that. It's not even woody. There's no, I don't get any woods out of this at all. It's just a freshy, clean freshy. Um, is it out the shower freshy? No, it's not out. It's, it's, it's own fragrance, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's its own fragrance. It doesn't do... It doesn't do out the shower. It doesn't do oceanic. It just it just does freshy. It just it smells. Maybe it is peppery. See, that's one note that I really don't talk about is peppery because I don't I don't get like peppery like when people say it's peppery. Because when when I smell something that's peppery, it's something that burns my nostrils, and. <clears throat> It smells like black pepper. When people say black pepper, I never get any black pepper out of like Sauvage or anything like that. I don't know why. It's just me. I just I just don't say peppery in, in any of my videos because I don't. Honestly, me smelling pepper, black pepper, it makes me at you makes me sneeze, or or it makes my my nose fucking fly. It makes my nose um burn, right? And it's spicy. So when people say pepper, you. I don't taste it, so it's not burning my fucking nose or anything like that. So, this one here, maybe peppery, possibly, I don't know. 
But like I said, it's it's one step under Blue Day Chanel, Savage, and YSLY. It's really closer to YSLY than anything else. If that can explain anything. Um, I don't know what else to say about this. The, uh, the way it sprays, it sprays like a damn staple gun. You know how the gun, staple guns, and, and it's kind of weird. But it's unique. You know, Paco Roman is always nice for doing crazy shit. You, you just press this right here, squeeze it like that. And the atomizer, I don't know if you guys can see it. That's pretty good. Um, I told I told a couple people about this, and Tyrone was one of them. He was gonna go get it. He said he went to go get it on Fragusby.ca, and it was already gone. So, if you guys can't get it, yo, I'm sorry. I don't like making reviews on shit you can't get. I don't really try to do that shit. That pisses people off. But if you can find it somewhere, it's out there. It's I I got it. It's out there, so jump on it, man. Go get it. Um, it is a very, very special, unique freshie. It's it's a freshie on its own. Um, it's kind of is it melon? No, it's not melon. Okay, but it does remind me of Dunhill Desire Blue. It does remind me of Nautica Voyage, but it doesn't go melon. This, I think it may be berry and floral, berries and flowers, and peppery maybe. It's Like I said, it's under Sauvage and under Blue de Chanel, under YSL Y. <clears throat> it's a good one. It's a really, really good one. <coughs> maybe, maybe take, um. YSLY, EDP, and Ultramon, put those together, and you have this as the baby. Something like that. Kind of weird, huh? Kind of weird, but really good. Kind of good. Not kind of good, really good. Um, I was really excited to get this one in today when I smelled it. I'm gonna, um I'm probably gonna pop up maybe two more videos for y'all today maybe tomorrow about um why um Lamal I got a tester I thought I bought the regular can and I the motherfucker sent me a tester I didn't want a tester I wanted a can of Lamal but um they gave me a tester without the neck sleeve the little the little pin and without the can I wanted the can but I got it so I'm okay with that it's not a big deal it's in a box um I might get one or two more um. Um, JPGs, John Paul Gaultier's, um, Lamal or LeBeau, something like that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to get next. I honestly don't know <clears throat> what's a good purchase. Um, if you guys have any comments down below, <clears throat> I've been watching, I've been watching a few reviews and nothing's really caught my eye. I was thinking about rehab. I was thinking about, um, must therapy. Honestly, uh, Naxos, I think I might pick up Naxos next. But I'm hearing some people say Naxos is kind of boring. A lot of people saying it's good. Look, I don't know. I was happy to get Kevin Holt's stuff, man. I need to go ahead and try to purchase 100 ml of that. I'm having a hard time with ordering that because I don't really wear the tobacco. Like, I'm probably not really going to wear the Havan too much until wintertime anyway. So, it all depends. Um, but I was really happy to get that um, Kevin Holt stuff. Actually smells better than Pure Van. Pure Van smells good too. It's got a, a, a citrus opening. But it's weird. Um, which one? What do I want to get next, man? Look, if if y'all watching my video and y'all can recommend me something really good to get on with a price point that's really good too, um, hit me up, man. Let me know. Like, like something like this. Something like this, man. This is worth it, yo. Go if you guys are into freshies, go pick this motherfucker up, man. This is a freshie out of this world, yo. Red, ultra, ultra red man, Paco Rabanne, ultra red man. This is a fucking awesome ass freshie, man. This is good. This is good. Yeah, it does have. It's a little powdery. I'm getting a little powdery from it. So, <clears throat> yo, this your boy Rizzo Dog, man. I was happy. I think I I caught this for about around the $40, 50 dollar mark. Um. 
after after um shipping and all that shit and taxes and all that shit. So happy to have this in my collection, man. I might I might get the other one too. I don't know. It all depends. Um But uh peace the hell out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a good one. Um fifty dollars is a little too much maybe for this, to be honest with you. But since it's like almost it's rare. It's, it's like it's like a gem kind of. Um, Fifty is a good good deal for this man. After a while, people might be wanting this man because this is a really good freshie, really good. This is better than Nautical Voyage. It is better than Perryellis Red Three Hundred and Sixty. It is better than um, Dunhill Desire Blue. It is better than any of the Nauticas. It is better than any of the Tommy Bahamas. Is it better than YSL, YEDP? No. To me, it's not. It's not better than Savage. It's not better than Blue Day Chanel. It's better than a lot. It's better than Salvatore, Ferragamo, Womo, Casual Life. Uh, why, The scent isn't better than Salvatore, Ferragamo, Casual Life, man. That's a good scent. But it's not. The scent isn't better, but the performance is. Performance of this is better. Um... I, I was I was really impressed with this. Put it like that. And I, freshies don't impress me too much, really, honestly. Um, is it better than Invictus? No. Like I said, this is... Invictus is... Um, it's like... One step above this, too. In my Invictus... Invictus Legend is, is in the same ranking as YSLY, EDP, Blue Day Chanel, and Savage. That's just that. All my Invictus except Aqua. Aqua, Invictus Aqua, put it like this, is the is about equal with this. My Invictus Aqua 2018 is about equal with this. Yes. There. How about that? That's a good ranking right there. That to me is fair. That is fair, straight as fuck as, as, as can be. Invictus Aqua of 2018, not 2016, 2018 is about equal and on par with... Paco Rabanne's Ultra Red Man. Yes, sir. That's what I feel. End of review.